Today, I'm testing out the world's most insane slime experiments. But first, I gotta become a real scientist. Let's get some safety gear. All right, I got my lab coat on. I'm feeling much better, but I think I need some goggles. Dan, can you give me some goggles? Now we're ready. Whoa, guys, I don't think we can work with these goggles. Uh, what's going on? What's going on with my eyes? I need to get rid of these. I got some better ones. All right, now we're ready. So I heard that if you mix cornstarch with water, you get some weird material called ublick, something like that. I'm really curious as to see what happens when we mix it with slime. I've never done this before, but I've seen Christian do it and it looks really cool. I'm excited to see the final product. That's one. This is why I have goggles, guys. It's getting real messy. Two and three. I have cornstarch up my nose right now. Let's mix this all together and see what we create. Ooh, it's definitely feeling kind of slimy. Looks like milk. Whoa, this is so strange. It's like really hard, but like soft and gooey at the same time. This is a non-Newtonian liquid. It's solid and liquid at the same time. I wanna see what happens if we add more cornstarch. This is the fourth one. Whew. Let's see if this gives it more of a slime texture. What is even cornstarch made of? <laughs> Corn? <laughs> so we're gonna add more water because we're gonna try to get the right ratio. Now it's just a bunch of little cornstarch rocks. It's just so hard to scrape it. It's almost like wax. I think this is the messiest slime experiment I've ever done. All right, I think that's enough. That's all we could get. Let's give it all a good mix. I don't even think there's enough product to mix. It's like, <laughs> it's just a bunch of chunks of starch. I guess it needs more water. All right, I just grabbed a chunk. This is what we have. It's kind of like overactivated slime in a way. To be honest, I've seen Christian use the mixer a couple times when he makes slime and sometimes it looks just like this. All right, our cornstarch in this state is the most that it can look like slime. But now I wonder what it will look like when we actually mix it with slime. Let's do it. So I have this awesome orange slime and I'm just gonna drizzle it on the cornstarch ooblick creature liquid thing. I think it lays a little bit more. This is good. And now let's see what happens when we mix slime with ooblick. I'm noticing the ooblick doesn't want to stick to the slime. I was really hoping for like a really cool slime texture, but it doesn't seem to be working well. Just like wax, they don't really incorporate well together. I honestly do not like ooblick. Ooblick and slime doesn't pair well. Our first slime experiment was a fail, but don't worry, because we got other really cool ones coming up. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got this metallic mirror paint. I'm trying to make a mirror slime. My goal is to get some of this clear slime and see if I can make a reflective slime so that I can see myself with the slime. All right, I'm gonna lay out my slime in a nice little circle, and it says that it's a flammable liquid, so we gotta be careful. I'm not trying to set my mirror on fire. Let's dump it in. <gasps> Guys, it's like I'm literally pouring metal. Whoa. I think we're good for now. I'm gonna get a glove and like spread it all over the slime. I love how it's so pigmented. Look at my fingers. That's crazy. I can literally see myself. Okay, let's see if I can see myself with this slime. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is this the best slime of them all? Guys, I can see myself. Christian, get over here. Look. You can see yourself with the slime. Oh, that is so weird. That looks like a fake object. <laughs> oh, now our faces are getting longer. All right, guys, it's not the clearest mirror of all time. It's kind of blurry, but in a way, it's kind of like aluminum foil slime. Honestly, this kind of looks like I have the Tin Man's guts. It's so bright. Look at my hands. I'm becoming the Tin Man. Let's see if we can give it a good stretch. All right, it has a good stretch, but I will say the more that I mix this pigment into the slime, the less that it becomes a mirror. The smell is making me dizzy too. I don't think this is a safe slime experiment, but it is a cool one. Honestly, this slime experiment was very successful. I saw myself for a good 0.3 seconds and it was great. I think our next experiments are gonna be a bit better. So let's move on to the next one. The next insane slime experiment is snappers. If you don't know what a snapper is, it's basically like gunpowder powder inside of a little sack and it does this. 
It's like a little firework. So let's see what happens when we put it in our slime. I got this awesome bin of slime. The colors really look like fire to me. So I think it's gonna match the snapper vibe perfectly. Just look at these boxes, they're red already. I'm gonna start off with just two and a little chunk of slime. We gotta give it a test first. Let's try to cover this little handful of slime with all of these snappers. All right, I'm gonna mix this all together. It has about 100 snappers in there. Let's cause an explosion, guys. Let's see what we can do with slime and snappers. Whoa, where'd the table go? Oh well. Ah! Guys, it worked! That was so loud. I wanna try it from even higher. Let's get more slime and more snappers. Guys, we have 400 snappers left. This experiment is the world's first TNT slime to ever exist. Do not try this at home, kids. Let's go! Whoa, that's crazy! This experiment was a success! Let's hope the next one is just like it. For our next slime experiment, we're gonna see if we can make slime glow in the dark. But first, I gotta make a really pretty clear slime. Now we have this beautiful turquoise color. Honestly, this right here is my favorite color, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's go ahead and add our little glow-in-the-dark pigment. I've never seen anybody do a glow-in-the-dark slime, so I'm gonna be the first. I don't really know how much to add, so I'm just gonna give it a good amount. It's definitely gonna make our clear slime a little cloudy, but then it's gonna start to get that glow-in-the-dark effect. And once it's all mixed in, we need to find the darkest spot in the Peachy Baby's warehouse. And I think I know just the spot. This is a beautiful slime. But now, does it glow in the dark? We're gonna find out. Before we find out if it glows in the dark or not, I have to activate my slime. So let's turn on all these lights. Activate. I'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute. I think it's gained enough powers. Now let's go to the darkest spot at the Peachy Baby's warehouse. Come on, the bathroom. All right, let's turn off the lights. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I'm like an invisible person playing with slime. It's literally glowing. This is crazy. It's like it's radioactive or like, like it's from a video game or something. I'm so glad it worked. This is my favorite experiment yet. This experiment was a massive success. These experiments just keep getting better and better. Now, let's move on to the next crazy slime experiment. For this next slime experiment, we're gonna be making magnetic slime. I'm gonna be using this deodorant slime. I think Christian made it and honestly, he did a stellar job. This looks so beautiful. It looks like a glittery ocean. It's also really liquidy, which is perfect because for a magnetic slime, we want it to be very malleable, so I think this is gonna work. It is really sticky though. I'm just gonna get a chunk. There's my chunk. I need to dip my hands in activator because <laughs> it's getting stuck everywhere. One moment. I activated my slime a little bit, and now let's add both of these iron filings into the slime. I want this magnetic slime to work, so we're gonna add both of them in. You guys know that my favorite pigments are metallic pigments, but this is gonna be the world's first iron slime. Guys, today we made iron slime, we've made TNT slime. At this point, I'm just making Minecraft slimes. Like the glow in the dark one, that was just glowstone slime. What other Minecraft blocks can we make as slime? Leave a comment down below and I'll make it. All right, our iron slime is done. And I searched all over the internet for the world's strongest magnet. Here it is. This is the strongest magnet. So let's see if this slime is magnetic. It's working, guys. The way that it moves reminds me of a slime enemy from a video game or something. It's like, dancing in a very creepy way. Whoa, look guys, it's dancing. <laughs> look at that. Look, my slime is dancing. <laughs> this slime experiment is a success. Slime 
can be magnetic. We got one slime experiment left to go, and it's the best one yet. But first, our fall slimes are here. PeachyBabies.com has a ton of slimes, perfect for the season of autumn. Guys, this slime smells amazing. It literally smells like the most delicious pumpkin pie. This slime is called Pumpkin Cow. It's a beautiful swirly mix of orange and white with the cutest little pumpkin charms. And just like this one, you can get a ton of other fall themed slimes at PeachyBabies.com. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m., so don't miss it. For our last slime experiment, we are doing Pop Rocks! Ouch. Woo! It's gonna be a lot of Pop Rocks, guys. I already know it's gonna be super colorful too. We have all the flavors. I forgot what Pop Rocks taste like. I haven't tried them in years. Let's try it. Mmm, mm, that's so strange. I already know it's gonna be crazy with slime. We have all of our Pop Rocks in a bowl, so let's add them to the mixer and find out if Pop Rocks mixes with slime. First, we're gonna add our Pop Rocks into the mixer. I think it's gonna make some great ASMR. Next, we're gonna be adding clear slime because I really wanna see the colors of the Pop Rocks stand out through the slime. Guys, I already hear it popping. It's like crack a in there. All right, now let's see how it mixes with the slime. It sounds like we're cooking bacon. It's literally sizzling, but it's also deactivating our slime. It's getting like really sticky in there. Let's try to add more slime and a little bit of activator. Guys, listen to that sizzle. It's literally like we're cooking bacon or something. That's a good sizzle. All right, let's let the activator do its work and see if we can come up with a legit Pop Rock slime. So the Pop Rocks honestly deactivated our slime a little bit. It just feels really runny and sticky. And you know what? It reminds me of that woodland slime that I made at Snake Island on our last video. It has like the same color and the same vibe. Yeah, Pop Rocks and slime doesn't mix very well, but I will say it does smell like a candy fruit bowl. Thank you guys for watching these crazy experiments. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what other experiments you want me to try. And let's try to get this video to 5,000 likes. And if this video does get 5,000 likes, I'll make another one. Bye guys.